This past December, organizers of Boston's St. Patrick's Day Parade folded to political pressure and announced they will let a gay pride group march in the annual celebration. At least one Catholic school in Massachusetts is now refusing to have anything to do with the scandal. Immaculate Heart of Mary School in Still River, Massachusetts announced last week it will pull out of the parade to avoid marching alongside promoters of grave evil. The school's principal cited church teaching for his decision, noting that Catholics can't participate in events which sponsor, quote, unnatural and immoral behavior. He stated, St. Patrick stands with St. Paul in condemning the sin of sodomy. The name of St. Patrick should be dropped from the parade, as he would have nothing to do with the likes of it today. It didn't take long, though, for a new scandal to emerge, as the Massachusetts State Council of the Knights of Columbus is announcing they'll join the march this year for the first time ever. The Catholic Action League is condemning the move as, quote, a disgrace. Uh, for 23 years, homosexual militants have been trying to intrude themselves on Boston's St. Patrick's Day Parade. The Knights of Columbus never marched in the parade before, and now that the, uh, this homosexual group has been invited to march, the largest Catholic organization in the state suddenly wants to march with them. Now, uh, this again is is very, very curious. It's a disgrace. I think it's a betrayal, uh, and we're, we're it's very difficult to uh, to fathom the reason. One possible reason is it it appears that they're being used to give political cover either to Mayor Walsh or to the parade organizers, to the veterans group, uh, by uh, pretending that the parade is still Catholic friendly. The Catholic Action League's alert is urging the faithful to contact the Knights of Columbus and encourage them not to dishonor the great Irish saint. For Church Militant, I'm Ryan Fitzgerald.